So we're here today outside um, the courts and uh, this is a very important moment for, for us, civil society, having our day in court. So we have been, for the last, it was October last year, we launched court proceedings and the action that we are we're challenging is the nuclear procurement deal, particularly the agreement with the Russians and also other process issues around how government makes decisions about energy. And that's what we are hoping to get out of it is real a return to good democratic governance. And I think what's also important to mention is South Africa has signed up to something called the Open Government Partnership, which is an international um, agreement on good governance, which says that South Africa commits to transparency, it commits to consulting with the public. But right now we have a secret non-transparent process which is carried on with this nuclear procurement and with decisions that are made around energy. So as we stand here about to go into court, we are hoping that justice will prevail today. And how does the fact that the RFP process is ongoing at the moment? So uh, one of the examples of how government is not following, in our view, due process is that despite this being in court today, the government has continued with a energy planning process which to all accounts seems to be manipulated in order to include nuclear. So what we actually have is um, public hearings where people have not got sufficient information in order to make informed decisions and to make informed comments. Uh, and uh, again, we have a serious undermining of democratic process and accountable government against an international event. Will the nuclear deal ever go ahead? Not if we have anything to do with it, because we want the government to make decisions according to the law.